Throughout our Aging Out series this week, every former foster care youth we talked to wished this for changes in the system. Yeah, many said they were going to work toward that in the future. Our hope is that this project, all of these stories, will be a catalyst for change. So we asked Lieutenant Governor Donna Lynn to join us for a conversation about what kinds of changes need to be made. You know, I get to meet these kids in foster care every week, and one of the things they tell me regularly is how challenging it is to get transferred to different schools. Yes. Have yes. you experienced that? Yes, definitely. And um, one of the hardest parts about it is how many different schools you're going to. So in a matter of a year, I was went from three different schools. And transferring became this big thing of, are we going to accept her? Are we going to transfer all her credits over? Is she going to be able to work in this environment? Ty, have you ever felt that you were just behind in high school? And part of the reason is because you're just being pushed around to different schools? Yes, absolutely. Um, I, from the time I was in second grade or so, I've been in about seven different schools. Um, and so all the credits transferred differently. Some of them didn't transfer, so um, I had to, you know, just do a whole bunch of summer work sometimes. Was there anybody who helped you sort of make that transition in any of the schools, a guidance counselor, a teacher, just to think about how we might improve that experience? I think my guidance counselor and um, a lot of like the principals and stuff, they helped a lot with the transition, but there was only so much they could do in, you know, whether we can take your credits or not, you know, mm -hmm. because they can't really change those kind of things. You can watch Britt's entire conversation with the Lieutenant Governor that is tonight at 10 o'clock. And this has been such a great series all week yeah, long. Yeah, sure has. Yeah.